And we're back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and configure uh, guest wireless. In our previous video, we configured the wireless controller, and I actually backed out of all those changes because I wanted to show you guys uh, just the, the setting, how to configure it from the new uh, ICE 2.2 wireless setup wizard. So just going back here, I'm just going to show you that the radius authenticating uh, authentication and accounting servers have been deleted. There's no uh, wireless uh, WLANs, nothing. It's just completely gone. So we're, we're starting from scratch on this. So in ICE, I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the right, the wireless setup beta. This is a really nice and clean, easy way to set up the, set this up. So we're going to go with guess, and we're going to create a sponsor uh, guest access through sponsor, sponsored guest access. And that's where uh, a, a certain user or a uh, group of users can create accounts for guests. And uh, they won't be able to have access until those those users create, uh, create guest accounts for them. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to plug in the wireless controller IP address and our username and password for this wireless controller. And the new radius shared secret. And I just want to check one thing really quickly. I did wipe this wireless controller, so it's a, it's a fresh one. There's no configs on it, and under security, ACL, no ACLs as you can see here. So just bear that in mind. Uh, this And uh, let's go ahead and register this, which it's going to push a config both to the wireless controller and to ICE to create the network access device or the NAD in ICE. And you're going to, I'll show you exactly what it just did. So now if I go back here, it's automatically there. Um, so yeah, now I have the, uh, the uh, new ISA, ISA authentication and accounting server, and now I have a new ACL for re redirect. So that's good. That's now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the security demo guest SSID. And we can ch pick uh, any w VLAN we want, but in this case, we only have one VLAN on our, uh, or one interface on our uh, wireless controller, so no need. Um, after someone successfully logs in, we can redirect them to the original URL they were trying to hit, the a custom URL if we want to send them to, you know, uh, you know at your uh, company's flash page, or just a success page. We're just going to go with success page. So I'll commit that, and it's going to create the SSID, but it's going to create it uh, where it's uh, inactive and uh, it's basically disabled right now, as you can see here, and it's going to remain disabled until we uh, finish this. Now, uh, for the sponsored guests, I'm going to go ahead and join this to an Active Directory domain, and I'm going to go through the whole setup for you, which is like it's a brand new uh, registration to a, or join to Active Directory. So, administrator and the password. Let's go ahead and join our our domain, even though I'm. I had to unjoin just to, so I can run, run this through from start to scratch for you. Now we're going to go ahead and, uh, and select a, a, a Active Directory group. So it's going to be domain users. So those are the users who are going to be able to create this. Now we uh, set up our sponsored guest portal, and that's going to be pretty easy. We can actually alt alter it really easily. Now I'm going to configure it with my, my nice background for eCorp and my eCorp logo. And I can even see, you know, what it'll look like in on a uh on a uh tablet, a phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and commit this and it asks you if you want to uh create a custom URL or uh for sponsored guests uh for sponsored uh users to be able to create uh, accounts in. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, sponsor.securitydemo.net. Next. Now it's going to submit, create the everything. And as soon as I click go live, it's going to enable that SSID. So let's go ahead and test this out really quickly. So now I'm seeing it here. That's my guest user. Let's go ahead and sign on and see what happens. It 
And uh, the reason why I'm getting a uh, not secure is because I, I'm not signing my uh, my guest portal with a public uh, certificate. I'm just kind of using the uh, self-signed one. So bear, bear that in mind. You can get a uh, a uh, a one that's signed by a trusted uh, root certificate on the you know the public trusted root. But for now, I'm just going to kind of show you. So now I've I've got a username and password prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and go into ICE, and, and if you want to see under uh, Monitor Clients, there's my, my user, and I can even see that Central Web Auth is the policy, the NAC state, and the, AC, the ACL, over, uh, AAA override ACL that was chosen, and the redirect ACL, or to redirect U, uh, URL. So let's go back in ICE and see what was created really quickly. It's not the the prettiest uh, creation, but I'll I'll show you what what it did. So because policy sets aren't enabled by default, it kind of tosses it into uh, it tosses it into the uh, default, which is down here, the default policy set. We can move this really easily and kind of make it a little more pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and create a policy set above, and let's call this. Uh, Security demo wireless sponsor guest. Actually, security demo wireless guest. This is the policy set for wireless guest guest in the security demo lab. And for now, we're just gonna go ahead and select the existing condition from here, and it's gonna be wireless map. Kind of leave it there for now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and move the policy set that was uh, policies that were created before over to here. So there's my guy that was created. And the other policy rule. And let's go ahead and move Mab over. Okay. So we'll clean this up a little bit now that we've got this in there. So we're gonna copy this right here up to the top. So give, us, give me a moment. So we're gonna say radius called station ID ends with security demo guest. Done. And then we're just gonna clean this up a little bit. We don't need to have, uh, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second, I just need to save this. Condition is gonna be, uh, I guess it didn't save after all. So hold on, let me redo that again. That was my problem, I didn't wait for it to save. Okay, so I'm gonna choose map again. Choose this and this. Both rules that were created. Press done, done. Done. I'm going to save that really quickly before we move to what we need to do next. And just to verify that it's saved. There we go. So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. We don't need wired map for this rule. Delete. 
done. I'm going to go ahead and add that radius called station ID ends with security demo guest done. Let's go ahead and save that. There we go. I cleaned it up a little. Let's go ahead and remove one more thing down here. We don't need this because that's matching now in the top level condition. Done. Uh, I, th I know that this uh, Firefox is kind of giving me issues right now, so apologies about that. You'll see that condition actually saves uh, as gone once it reloads, but it's kind of my Firefox here, so apologies for that little glitchiness. The next video I'll change back to. Okay, so now, now we've cleaned it up a bit. Uh, now let's go ahead and test this out, make sure it's hitting my new uh, default policy set. So before it was hitting that, let's go ahead and re-authenticate, or re restart this. Um, it's going to be session re-authenticate. Let's go back to the live log. I believe that's the right one. Perfect. Now it's hitting my, my new uh, uh, policy set. And let's go ahead and be redirected. Perfect. And let's go ahead and create an account and sh kind of show you uh, it at work. So uh, if I want to, I, I think I should be able to, uh, I could go to sponsor.securitydemo.net, uh, secu but I'm not sure if I have a uh, DNS configured on this, this local PC. So I'll just go right here. Okay, manage accounts. Let's take a look. All right, I do have it. So perfect. Uh, hold on a second. Sponsor guest security demo. Perfect. Now, now, now I'm logging in. Um, first thing I want to do is log in with a, a domain user. So let's go ahead and log in with our demo user and ice cold is the password. It gives me uh, acceptable use for creating these accounts. And let's go ahead and create an account really quickly. So cat mac blah dot com six three nine 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 blah incorporated person being visited is demo user at securitydemo.net reason for visit um, testing Wi-Fi duration we're just gonna go ahead and have it be one day no group tag here let's go ahead and create that all right, so KMAC has been has been created. Let's go ahead and uh, try logging in with this account. So let me take a look at this. So we're gonna go. KMAC is uh, gonna go ahead and log in under sign on. I'm gonna get my acceptable use policy, and we've succe successfully connected. So let's go ahead and try to go back to abc.com. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, you can do the same thing with this wireless uh, 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 portal builder, whether you want to do dot one X or, uh, or um, you're creating a uh, uh, BYOD configuration. The only thing that's, you know, little on the, uh, uh, you know, the side that you have to clean it up a little bit is the policy sets where it creates them at the, in the default. So, I, I sort of went through and uh, cleaned it up in this video, but uh, you'll have to go and do that if you want to keep policy sets kind of neat and clean the way I, I like to. 
Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video, and I, I appreciate uh, appreciate you continuing continue to watch them.